Hi, this is Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab. I recently received an email that said, Hey, I tried your techniques in the last video. I submerged my model with acrylic underwater in the pressure pot, and I still got bubbles. What's the trick? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you an in-depth investigation on what exactly caused that. And I guarantee you, you're going to see something in this video you've never seen before. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel after, and look forward to your next one. Thanks. Here I have three different models from three different orthodontic offices. The first model used yellow plaster and they vacuum mixed it. So you can tell that the, all the air bubbles were removed from the vacuum mixer. So you'll, you'll see a couple air bubbles, but in my second sample, the office poured up their model impression with white stone and this stone was not vacuum mixed either. So there is some bubbles but more than the vacuum formed plaster. And our third sample is white plaster and this plaster was not vacuum mixed and you can see the bubbles pouring off. Now what I like to do, especially with this, these type, this type of plaster, is I like to submerge these models for at least 10 minutes to get all of the air out. And if you actually leave it in the water for about 10 minutes, the bubbles will actually stop. Therefore, all the water bubbles are coming to the surface of the model and released. And they won't show up in your acrylic. Now this is the part that you've never ever seen before. I actually took my camera phone and put it in the pressure pot and videotaped what was going on while the model was submerged underwater with acrylic. This is sample a this isn't exactly sample B, it's a model from that doctor. So it's not the sample B because I already submerged that underwater and let all the air out. This is a typical model that hasn't had any, hasn't been submerged in water and let the air out. So let's see how it does. The model was submerged for about five minutes. At 165 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that the model looks, the retainer looks pretty good. It seemed to process, everything looks cool. Except when you look, take a really, really close look at it, you can see all these trapped air bubbles. And I'm going to zoom in so you can get a better look. And that's all porosity, which is air bubbles stuck in the acrylic that aren't going to, aren't going to come out to the surface. And here's the finished product. You can clearly see all the trapped air bubbles in the retainer. This next model I made an acrylic retainer out of the white plaster that wasn't vacuum mixed. And this is an example of sample C, but it's not actually that model because that model was submerged underwater. This is just from that doctor. I just grabbed the model to see what would happen. And this is what it looks like under the pressure when you don't release the air bubbles. What's interesting is once I put the pressure on, you can see that the Air pre the air pressure causes the bubbles to not um, bubble up as much, come to the surface. So what's, a what's actually happening, happening is the bubbles are getting trapped in the acrylic under pressure and they're not coming up to the surface. Once I release the pressure, and again this is under 5 minutes, 165 degrees, you can see the air bubbles come rushing out when I, re when I release the pressure, which was interesting. I didn't think that would happen. So the model, the re retainer actually looks like it processed until I really take a quicker look at it, a closer look, I should say, and there's all these huge bubbles in it. And I'm going to get a close-up to show you the areas that the air was just trapped inside the acrylic. 
And this is what you might be seeing if you don't submerge your retainers, your models in water before making the retainer. And here's the finished product. And you can see the big hole in it and all the little tiny holes. And there was a massive hole on the left side that I couldn't do anything about. And this is the back side. Now I saved sample A for last because I think that you probably know what's going to happen. I did all the same steps. I took a model from that orthodontist office that wasn't submerged in water and it was vacuum mixed. The, it was a yellow plaster that was vacuum mixed so it barely had any bubbles in it. So here I went ahead and did the same procedure, left it in the pot for five minutes with my phone um, don't do this at home, by the way, probably not a good idea. Um, five minutes for 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And when the retainer came out, I released the pressure, the retainer came out, it actually was pretty good. It was so easy to finish, and that's typically what I'm expecting from all my retainers. Because I follow this procedure of submerging the water, um, submerging the models in the water for at least 10 minutes before I go to make a retainer apply acrylic. Now this again is an example of sample C, the white plaster that was not submerged in water. This time I just used clear monomer and I made a real quick sample just to see what would happen um, on a different model. And this is the results I got from this little um, example. Hey, and a quick side note while you're watching this. I recently watched a video by Retainer Designer YouTube channel. Um, Kate Tippett is the technician and he made a great video explaining his techniques on how to avoid getting bubbles in the retainers and what how they um, use their acrylic designs. So I highly recommend that you watch it. Definitely I'll leave a link in the bottom and you can click on the card to directly connect with his channel. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like and share. And see you again. Zara from Zara Dalland. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to see some other orthodontic videos, leave a comment and let me know. And remember to subscribe to the channel, like, and share.